All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. Now, it's, uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to do a little bit of training up, but I did some searching within myself. I did some searching, and then I searched again, and then I searched again, and I realized that our Pokemon is not, our Pokemon are not, I should say, too far away from where they should be at. In fact, we might be a little bit more powerful than we should be. To go and fight the gym leader. So let's go and take a look at our team. We have Perry the Brave Piplup. His attacks pound, growl, bubble, and water sport. We have Chuck the Timid Pidgey uh, with tackle, sand attack, and gust. We have Combi, I'm sorry, Buzz the Naive Combi with sweet scent and gust. And we have Flash, the hasty, uh, Shinx. It's a Shinx. Flash, the hasty Shinx. <laughs> I told you guys I don't use Shinx like that. Uh, with Tackle. So very clearly, our team is going to rely on Chuck and Perry against the gym leader. Now, we're going to go fight the gym leader. I don't believe there's anything else we should be doing, really. But remember, this is a randomized Nuzlocke. Trainers don't have the Pokemon that they should have. And in fact, I think they might not even be type arranged by type when it comes to the gym. So Faulkner is traditionally a flying type gym leader. All his Pokemon are birds. He loves birds. That might not be the case here. They might not be birds. They might not even be the same type. They could just be a random pick of Pokemon. Let's talk to this guy. He seems to know a lot of stuff. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe, then a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against flying type. Keep that in mind. He's telling us that because we're supposed to have the option of having Chikorita as one of our, uh, our, our as our starter, I should say. We don't. We don't. We didn't. All right, this platform is going to raise us up. And here's our gym. Again, they're birds. The people here love birds, so that's what they're going to use, the sky. All right, so here's our first battle. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Falker. Faulkner? Faulkner. I know the gym leaders, Dave. All right, Bird Keep Rave with the Mareep. So they might have electric types. They might be strictly electric types here. If they are, we're in trouble. Uh, Mareep could have static. I'm going to try for a bubble, even though it's not smart. I just don't want to get paralyzed. We get paralyzed, we're done for real. Tackle, please no static. All right, we're good so far. Catch you with that bubble. It, it definitely knows Thundershock at that level. The second he uses Thundershock, we, we're going to take a nosedive when it comes to health. Come on. What is that, speed drop? Yes, good. I mean, it doesn't matter. We go first. We're already going first. Come on. Good work! Ooh, that crit, though. Good work, Perry. All right, we don't need to heal. So we're not going to. That's risky if this is an electric type gym. If they are tight by theme, that's so risky. Number two. Oh, ho! you some kind of big shot. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall. People here might training day and night. They are training day and night. You become very Pokemon masters. Bring it on. If that's the case, y'all should probably use some birds. That's probably where you should start, using some birds. All right, bird keeper rod with a zigzagoon. That's definitely a bird. Okay, they're not theme type. The gems aren't theme type, so we, we're good on that front. We are good on that front. Damn, that crit though. Ooh, that crit though. Give them the business. Yeah! 
Go ahead, Perry. Almost there. A Shinx. Shinx is electric type. That ain't good. That ain't good. It might know an electric type attack at this point. At level seven, it should know. It shouldn't have learned another attack. Damn! Ooh, that crypto. We ain't even worried. P Perry said, "Don't even worry, chill. I got this." Go ahead, Perry. Good work. I'm proud of you, big dog. Go ahead, Perry. Perry is showing up and showing out. Like I said, I've never used the pimple up before, so it's 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 weird to see it it dominating like this. All right, we we don't need to heal. We're gonna go heal before we go fight this gym leader. All right, so I'm just gonna run out of the gym real quick. Just take a quick stop back at the Pokemon Center, and then we'll be right back. All right, give me a sec. All right, we're back. Performing for you. Here we go. We're gonna run up to Faulkner, and we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna pray that this goes well, guys. We made it. We made it pretty far in the past few episodes. Okay, we're gonna save right here. I, I know. I know saving doesn't matter because it's a nuzlocke. I just save because it makes me feel good. Okay, it makes me feel like things are gonna be all right. It's a. It's a. It's a psycho thing. It's, it's a mental happening. All right, we're ready to fight Faulkner. We're starting with Perry. We're going to Chuck if we need to. But that's it. These two are calling the shots. Here we go. Uh, I want you to stand here, Piplup. Oh, Piplup's looking to the side. We got one of those Pokemon today. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gem Pokemon leader. Pokemon Gem leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. All right, here we go. Come get this business, Faulkner. Wingle. He starts with a Wingle. He actually does have a bird Pokemon. It's interesting. Wingle's also part water, so that means our bubble's not going to be so strong against it. Wingle with a growl. Come on. All right, that's pretty good. Water gun, hold it. You can hold it. You can hold it, Perry. I believe in you. Good work. Supersonic, we don't need you to get confused. Good work. Good job, Perry. Good job, Perry. All right, the second is Ella Kid. That's not good. This fool. <laughs> I won't allow that to happen to Magnificent bird Pokemon, you have an electric type on your team. This isn't good at all. We're gonna keep Perry out. Ella Kid is level what? 11? 13? Yes, he definitely knows an electric type attack. He definitely knows an electric type attack. In those Leer, it's faster than us. What else is gonna go wrong? What else is gonna go wrong today? We don't do too much to it. Oh, Jesus. There's Lear. I'm not worried if he knows an electric type attack because if he does, it's not one that's physical. So I'm not worried about Lear. What I'm worried about is when he breaks out tackle. When he breaks out tackle after three Lears, that's what I'm worried about. Oh! Oh! Static! He's got static! Okay, so we did a physical move. Tackle or pound or whatever. And... Okay, it was pound. I, I was about to say, it doesn't sound right. We did a physical move which made contact with the, po uh, the uh, opponent Pokemon. Because his ability is static, it has a chance of paralyzing. And that's exactly what happened. So now we're having a chance of not attacking at all. No! It knows Thundershock! Oh, Jesus. In his par oh, we gotta, get, we gotta get Perry out of here. We have to get Perry out of here, but the only option we can go to, really, is also weak against electric attacks. We need sand attack. We need sand attack. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Hold it. You hold that shock, Chuck. You hold. Oh, no. It was a crit. Y'all, I think this run might be over. <laughs> we put 
kept this off for so long, and I think this run might... Oh, we don't have any way to heal the paralysis. We don't have any way to heal the paralysis. That makes me sad. That makes me so sad. I'm the worst trainer. I'm the worst. Come on. Uh, I mean, we have to, right? We're stuck. We're stuck. Damn, son. That Elekid is OP. Too OP for me. Come on, Perry. We, we just got to stick with it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Perry. I believe in you. I believe in you, Perry. I believe in you. Damn. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. I can't believe we lost Chuck, though, man. It makes me really sad that we lost Chuck. Chuck was going to be an MVP for this team. I saw it. I saw it coming. Damn. It's always the first gym leader. Always the first gym leader to take someone important from us. I can't believe this game. Already we're starting it up. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Your dad's cherished Wingle. Your dad cherished the Wingle is your dad, uh, is your dad old Briny. But a defeat is a defeat. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. We got the Zephyr badge. It's it's a it's a pretty cool badge. With that badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level twenty, will obey every question, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Shout out to this move. What move is this? By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. TM-51 contains Roost. It restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon gems in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest the Zalia Town. Roost is a perfect move for Chuck. Chuck actually could have used that move. It would have been wonderful. But now we lost Chuck. Guys, I'm actually really sad. I'm really sad when we lose our Pokemon. Even when, like, even off Mystery, I was sad that Mystery had to go for the rest of the team to survive. But I'm really sad that we lost Chuck. Nice battle. Keep it up, and you'll be the champ in no time at all. We got one badge down, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go put Chuck to rest. Professor Elm wants to talk to us, though. Hello, Chill. We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go and meet him and pick up that egg? Fine. We're doing more old man errands. Fine. We're going to go pick up the egg. Uh, but first we have to deposit. Let's deposit Chuck. Put him to rest. Chuck put in a lot of work. I'm really proud of Chuck. I'm really actually very proud of Chuck. I'm just sad that we lost somebody. Man. We were doing hot. We were doing hot. Now we got two dead. Two two deceased here. Makes me sad. And it was holding the muscle band. Man, Chuck was Chuck was doing the most, boy, I tell you. I was stuck with these clouds. Let me get the muscle band from Chuck and we can we can we can go get the things. Actually we can go get the egg next episode. We're gonna put that in the bag. You don't need that where you're heading. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Chuck. I'll heal up and then we'll call it once again. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Dust Locker, we'd love to see more. Then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. Man, we're healing one and one less each time, boy, I tell you. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like Nuzlocke runs, as well as everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. It's not, it's not going so well so far.